Cool. So in this section, we'll just go over how uh, one can create a cost category. To start with, uh, let's just try to create a new cost category, and then we can go over the department's example that we saw in the previous recording. So if you create a new cost category, you're presented with this particular screen. So we enter a cost category name, let's say departments, right? Um, and then you, the first, there are three distinct steps to creating a cost category. In step one, you define cost buckets. So your cost buckets are your different departments. So there is department A, um, and then you define what belongs to department A. So essentially you define a set of rules, uh, which, so you can define a set of rules. So you can say, hey, GCP product in BigQuery, right? So this department A is, is using uh, the GCP product BigQuery and it is also using uh, like an AWS account, uh, the playground account. So essentially all of these costs will be attributed to department A. This is the definition of this cost bucket. And then you can create multiple such cost buckets and uh, provide the corresponding definitions as well. So again, you can say GCP projects and let's say it, it uses like a couple of GCP projects. This is department B. So that is step one, define all of these cost buckets uh, and essentially using the set of rules that we, the rule builder we have, attribute the cost to each of these departments. The step two is sharing of costs. This is again like work in progress. So this will be available at a later stage. So we're going to skip this. Uh, and step three is an allocated cost. So essentially whatever costs don't belong to any departments, right? Though does not belong to any of these set of rules, it will be unallocated. So there are a couple of ways in which you can handle unallocated costs today. You can either show them in the visualization as anything you want. By default, it is shown as others. You can change it to anything you want. You can change it to unallocated, unattributed, etc. Or you can choose to ignore unallocated value. So it won't show up in all of your visualizations. So this is essentially how you create a cost category. Uh, step one is definition of the cost buckets. And then step two, we'll skip for now because it's not available. And step three is how you attribute unallocated costs. So we can just quickly look at how this departments was created, right? So again, here it's like a bunch of complex rules that is defining each of these departments. So it's saying marketing basically uses a couple of projects and also the cost is coming from some of these clusters uh, and so on. So that's how they have defined all of these cost buckets and then they have attributed unallocated costs as others. That's why in the previous video, uh, we were seeing that the cost was basically showing, showing up as others in the visualization. Uh, so that's on a high level how you how we create a, a, the cost categories and they're all like listed uh, here and under the setup section cost categories.